Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling that you and I should have a quick conversation about the rather despicable practice of fishing. Fishing with a PH. We're talking personal security today on Dotto Tech. Anybody who knows me knows that I love the real art of fishing. Fly fishing is one of my passions. But this practice, the practice of fishing with a PH, is something that I'm not such a fan of and something that we should all be paying attention to. What is phishing? Phishing is when the miscreant sends out a variety of emails that look like they come from a legitimate service. And they'll send it to people willy-nilly in the hopes that they will stumble across somebody who uses one of these services who don't understand what's happening. So here's an example. This is an email that you might receive in your inbox. Whether you live in the United States or not, it doesn't matter. And it's, it looks like it's coming from the Bank of America to all intents and purposes. But this is a phishing attack. It is been sent to a person. It actually probably doesn't have the person's real name in it because they don't know the name or they use the email address as the name. And what it is, is typically it's a message that there's something waiting for you to pick up, that there's a problem with your account. They create some urgency in this email and then they nicely provide you with a series of links to be able to go through and access your account. If I was to click on this link here, if this email had been sent to me, I would be taken to a website which looks exactly like Bank of America. It's probably down to the last detail except for one thing. It would not be the Bank of America site. No, no, no. Instead, it would be the Fisher's site in which they would ask us to enter our username and password. And then they would take that information and capture it when we entered it to use for their own purposes. At that point there, we are entirely compromised. And the sad part is we might never even know that we were compromised because chances are that they will then be sophisticated enough to take that information and pass it straight through onto the real Bank of America, log us into our account, and we wouldn't know that we had been compromised. Once they have that level of access to our accounts, of course, our identity is at risk. We are at peril. So what can you do to protect yourself against these sorts of attacks. Well, the first thing to do is to identify that legitimate services will never send you an email like this. When you see emails coming in like this, your alarm bells should be going off immediately and you should be saying, ah, I see that this is a phishing attack. I'm not going to bite. Instead, it goes straight in the trash. But what happens if it's coming from a service that you actually do? What if I am actually a Bank of America customer and they're telling me that there's a problem with my account really? What should I do then? If I am concerned, well, the thing to do is not click on the link that's provided within the email, but instead navigate to your own browser and use your bookmarks or type in the URL yourself to go and go into your account. And then you look for a few key points. When we're logging into our secure banking sites and our other membership sites, we will typically find that it is a secure server, which is identified by HTTPS, not just HTTP, in the URL. Additionally, in the Chrome browser here, it's got a lock telling me that I'm going into a secure site. You look for these indicators that it's a, my, the legitimate site that I'm signing into. If I sign into this, this banking site here, I'm signing into my legitimate Bank of Montreal site. So you look for those touch points to make sure that you are, in the, that you are at the right place and your information will not be compromised. Now, unlike most security issues, we can't use technology to protect ourselves against phishing attacks. I mean, not signing up for newsletters or, or reducing the amount of email spam that we get into, into our inbox might help us a bit, but some phishing emails are going to make it through. That's the nature of the phishing attack. So instead of relying on technology to protect us, we have to rely on our instincts and our intuition and our understanding of what might be happening. Our knowledge that our legitimate providers are not going to be sending us emails asking us to log into our accounts from the body of that email. They just simply won't do that. So if we are concerned, we navigate manually ourselves to the site, go into our site ourselves, and make sure that everything is okay. So it's up to you. It's your responsibility of understanding what's happening that will protect you. This doesn't remove the fact that we still need to use password management and we still have to protect ourselves through two-factor authentication. All of the other security processes that I recommend in the channel, you still want to enable, but this is an additional layer of education which you need to understand. 
I hope that you're glad that we've had this little chat today. Now, there are three different ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. The first is please subscribe to this channel. The second is subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can inform you about all of our upcoming tutorials and webinars and seminars that we give on a regular basis. And finally, Dotto Tech is a community funded site supported through the generosity of our viewers at Patreon. If you drop by our page at Patreon, you'll see what's involved in supporting Dotto Tech and you will also discover the perks and the perks are indeed awesome. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.